this is boot camp. I uh, spotlighted my video correctly. Uh, no music from my end, but feel free to blast music on your end. Have water nearby. We're gonna get started with our warm up. Uh, I'm gonna hold my phone so I can kind of tell you about the workouts while we get blood flowing into our body. Okay, so um, we're gonna do a 40 20 timing which is probably the most common timing I do. We're gonna do two exercises, a lower body and an upper body. Um, and, and then we're gonna repeat that. And then we're gonna take those same two exercises and we're gonna do it in a Tabata round. But in the Tabata round, instead of alternating, um, all right, let's see who, who we're missing here. All right, missing. Um, when we do the uh, Tabata round, well, I'm just going to see. Ooh, we are missing real fast. Oh, we are. Right. Um, we're going to do lower body back to back and then upper body back to back. So it's not going to be just alternating. Um, so that's going to be a little more challenging because it, instead of doing 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds off, followed by 20 seconds of work. Oh, sorry, I can't believe it's not moving. <laughs> I was like, why are you all just standing there? It's because it's my fault. <laughs> um, that way it's going to fatigue our muscles a little bit more. Okay. Drop that butt back and down, keep that chest up. Basically start by warming up the lower body, which gets the blood flowing through the rest of the body. Brace those abs, start to generate some heat. Maybe four more, three, two, and one, we're gonna change it up a little bit today. Instead of doing our regular lunges where we bend the back knee, I'm gonna focus on shifting forward just the front knee. You still want that long stride, and we're gonna get a little bit of dynamic stretch in the calf, calves of that back leg. So I'm intentionally keeping my back leg straight, my hips square to the front. I mean, the direction I'm facing, which is to the side. All right, so this is a little different from a more traditional fitness lunge where we bend both knees. And you should also feel a nice hip flexor stretch here. Really keep that chest up. We're gonna do plenty of fitness lunges during the, the class. And let's just do maybe four fitness lunges here. Bend the back knee down. Not doing too many. And switch sides. All right, good. And you know, obviously if you prefer, you can modify any of the movements at any time. So if you prefer doing the regular lunges, please feel free to do that. Again, this just kind of feels a little different. You feel a little more hip flexor stretch, feel a little more calf stretch, really trying to keep that heel down. I'm kind of oh, turning towards you guys, but you know, I really want to try to keep also my, my squared hips. And let's do four lunges, regular lunges. Four, bend that back knee down. Three, two, and one. Let's place our hands down on the ground. And they're gonna be underneath your shoulder, step it back. We're in a high plank. Let's do itty bitty push ups. So, small bend of the elbows, almost like you're pulsing at the top. Intentionally, we're not going down too much, just getting a little bit of arm pumping action here, brace those abs, good, now from here, bend the knee and straighten the knee, bend and straighten, Just feeling those quadriceps kick in here, 
Last two. Last one. Good. Stand it back up again. Give me some arm circles. We're gonna get into the workouts. So 40 seconds of work followed by reverse 20 seconds of rest. There are gonna be some jumps or high impact movements at any point, you can always keep it low impact. The first exercise is gonna be a scissor. So a scissor isn't a full lunge, but you split your legs and then you're gonna go into a squat. So from the front it goes scissor, squat, scissor, squat. So kind of like hip distance apart, wide, hip distance apart, wide. Low impact version, and step it back to form the scissor, step it out. Step this leg back to form the scissor, step it out. So one leg goes back and then it goes out. One leg goes back and then out. All right, and then the jump version is that. So that's our first exercise for 40 seconds. All right, let's get going. Take either option. Three seconds, two, one. Alternating, close apart, close apart. I'm landing right into my squat. And during the scissor, I'm sort of bouncing on the balls of my feet. I don't know if you can really tell, but I'll do the sideways too. Split, squat, split, squat. Not a full lunge. We call that a scissor jump. You wanna land softly to protect your joints. Okay, next, after the 20 second rest, we have push-ups. You can always do push-ups on your knees. In this particular push-up, it's gonna be a push-up here, and then bend the knees, into, but keeping the knees floating, push-up. Straight, straight leg, bent knee, push-up. If you put the knees down, that's fine. And then go back to your leg straight, you can bend the knee without putting the knees down and doing another push-up, which is definitely more challenging. Hands are nice and wide. So I straight my legs, lower my chest to elbow height, then I bend my knee. And it's up to you whether you wanna put the bent knees on the ground. Whew. This is hard. All right, back to the first exercise. 40 seconds. And then we're gonna cut all this in half for the 20 second work, 10 second rest. But again, it's, it's back to back. So it's gonna be scissors. It's gonna be a 2010 leg, 2010 leg, and then 2010 arms, 2010 arms. 10 legs. Yep, so you're gonna do still a whole minute. This is nearly a minute, right? Because it's 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, but during that 20 seconds, our heart rate is still quite elevated. Whenever you count intervals, it's basically on how high your heart rate gets the intensity. Scissor squats, scissor squat. I don't think I can talk anymore. I'm going to have to stop talking and so I can breathe. <laughs> okay. Ready? Ready. Option to do push ups on your knees. One knee, one toe, or all knees. You can also do all toes. The push-up feels different when you bend your knees without putting your knees on the ground. And then if you bend your knees and put your knees on the ground, that feels different too. That knocking means there's 10 seconds left. Ready? 
Okay. Take a minute. So after we do this round of Tabata, you won't be doing these exercises again. Okay, in about 30 seconds, you're gonna hit the first Tabata, 20 seconds of this, rest 10 seconds, 20 seconds of this again. All right, so I'm not just gonna alternate, alternate back and forth, it's on purpose to up the intensity by doing two of the same exercises back to back. All right, all right, let's do this. No point in delaying the inevitable. All right, we're starting with the lower body. In three, three seconds. Two, one. Here you go. Top it on one. Push it faster. It's 20 seconds. It's half the time length of what we were doing before. You don't have to pace yourself anymore. Scissor squat, scissor squat, scissor squat. Get the heart rate up, get breathless. Three, two, one. Take Wait. that 10 seconds. You don't have to go down to the floor yet. Three. Your heart rate should still be up. One. Top it you up. should be feeling like, wow, that didn't even feel like a rest. That's how challenging Tabata should feel. Almost like the rest didn't happen. Three, two, one. Okay. Rest. So time for our push-ups. Two, so round three and four are gonna be the push-ups. Three, two, let's go. One, top it off. Three, push up, push up. Straight, squeeze the quads, bend. Squeeze the quads and your butt actually as you straighten into that. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, stay right here. Shake out the wrist. Definitely a little more challenging when you do the same exercise Three, after back. Two, one. Top it off four. It used to be in Tabatas that instructors would pick one exercise and do eight rounds of it. It was brutal. Three, two, one. Okay. Rest. We're halfway down to Tabata. Two more of the lower body, two more of the upper body. Yeah, and then later two, on, one. Tabata two, started one. being more of a variety of stuff. Still moving, but different muscle groups targeted. It's still a little more tolerable. Nice job, looking good. Keep up that pace. Two, one. Rest. All right, you guys can hear the, I don't know, the woman talking, right? The bot, the fem bot. Three, two. Here we go, let's go. Top it off six. I know, that's 10 seconds. It is not a very long break at all. This is lower body, yes, but it's also very cardio. So get your heart rate up. Doing this Three, movement. Two. One. Let's take it to the floor. Yes. You only got 10 seconds, so start to get down here. You only got 10 seconds. Three, two. Here we one. go. Top it off seven. Last two tomatoes. Try to keep it moving. Go as fast as you can with good technique. You wanna feel burn out of those arms to your chest. Two. One, Ugh. rest. All right, stay right here. Last 20 seconds. You get a whole minute after this. Two Three, new exercises. Two, one, top it off. Eight. Keep those eye gaze on the floor. Keep the head and neck aligned your spine. Oh. Three, two, one. Oh gosh. Your timer is complete. Okay, thank goodness. One minute. All right. Let me show you this next stuff. 
We have a reverse lunge. So this time we are bending the knee when we step back. And this leg is gonna swing forward. So last week, I don't know if for those of you that are here, I did a lunge into a front kick, or I did a burpee to a front kick. A front kick, you lift the knee up and you snap it out. If you wanna do it that way, you can. But this particular kicking is really about the hamstring. So I lunge back, and I'm gonna swing my leg forward with it mostly straight, and try to reach my opposite arm, like I'm gonna touch my toe. It's okay if you don't touch your toe, but it's really, you'll feel a nice hamstring stretch. Okay, so lunge, tap, lunge, tap. Same leg for the entire 40 seconds. And then we'll do the other. All right, and that's paired with burpees and two jumping jacks. I don't need to demonstrate that. You know what burpees are, you know what jumping jacks are. All right, let's get going. So this is my front leg. I'm gonna step back into a lunge and reach with the opposite arm. Toe tap. So it's called a high kick. You feel a hamstring stretch. Now listen, I'm not telling you how high you gotta kick and you don't have to reach the toe. However, we do wanna feel that stretch in the hamstring. So you're gonna kick at least to a certain point that you feel a stretch. It's more like kind of a football punt. Same leg, 10 seconds. We got burpees after this. You can keep it low impact. All right, so you can always do your burpees, walking it out. Optional push up. You don't have to do the push up. And now, two jacks and repeat. Here we go. Optional push ups. Feet in. Out. Out. Again, this is a very total body movement. And it gets your heart rate up. Upper body and some lower body. And you probably feel a little bit imbalanced because we only did lunges on one side so far. If you're mirroring what I'm doing, don't worry. I have the sides all organized. Okay, so I'm gonna turn and face this way and it's gonna be my front leg again. So if you're, you're facing the same side as me, then you're all good. Okay, just make sure you switch your legs. I'm gonna lunge back with the front leg and reach forward with my back arm. Three seconds. Ready? And lunge. Do to keep your balance. You can reach the other arm forward, even though there's no toe kicking it. Lunge, toe reach, lunge, toe reach. A slight bend in the knee is fine. Feel the hamstring. Not too hard to reach your toes, yeah? Can you touch your toes? You make it? Front leg, doing a lot of work too. Oh, burpees again. Everyone doing okay? Don't forget, you can have water at any time. Burpees and two jacks. Ready? Skip the push-ups if you want. Skip the jacks if you want. Or do low impact jacks. How do you do that? Step out in, out in. Way to push yourself. We're all here to help each other with accountability. That's it. I mean, that's it for that timing. 
Now what do we got? We got the 20 second stuff, the bottom. All right, grab some water, you have about 30 seconds. So, what are we doing first? I'll face this way again, front leg, goes back, okay? Same side, same side. We're gonna do it for two rounds, then for the latter round. Why am I not switching sides after 20 seconds? It's because to really burn out this one group of muscle. All right, that's the point. Get ready. All right. This is the leg that's going back first. Three, two, one. Top it on one. 20 seconds, go, go, go. Quick, quick. You don't have to worry about balance. By the time you're losing your balance, your foot's down anyways. Your leg doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Two, one. Stay here. Rest. Stay right here. And go into again. Same thing. Same leg. Feel that Three, burnout. Two. Let's go. One. Top it on two. Good. Don't forget to bend that back knee as it goes down. As it goes back. Bend the knee as it goes back. Three. Oh, I'm really feeling it now, that front leg. Nice. All right, burpees. Burpees are no fun. But there's only 20 seconds of it. Three, two, one. Top it off, three. Three. Finish it. One. If you're in the middle of a burpee, finish it. Actually, I don't always do that. I admit. <laughs> Three. Two. Burpees. One. Again. Top it off four. Without the, without the push-ups, you take your feet back out and in. Brace those abs for that jump back into the plank. If you're not doing push-ups. But if you are. Feel free to drop Three, to your knees. Two. Do that push one, up. Rest. Turn it around. Front leg goes back again. Staying on this side. Three. Two. Here we go. Here we go. One. Top it off. Five. Lunge. Lunge and punt. For balance, you can just stare at a dot on the floor. Three, two, one. Okay. Rest. Hold. Just gonna stay right here. Really, there's not much Three, time. See, we're starting two, again already. One. Go. Top it off six. At 10 seconds, this goes by really fast. You're gonna feel it in the, the leg that's standing still. That's the leg that really works. Not the Three, kicking leg. Two, one, rest. All right, burpees. I guess I'll do burpees facing this way. Three, Whoa. two, let's go. One, top it off seven. It should be pretty hard to breathe right now. That's the point of. High intensity interval training. Three, intensity. Two, one. Ooh. Rest. The intensity, that means your heart rate is up. You're a little breathless. Three. Your cardiovascular three, system is working. Top it off. Eight. Last one. Overdrive. Make sure you're breathing, not holding your breath. Three, two, one. Woo, take a minute. Your timer is complete. All right, it is good to push yourself, get that heart rate up. If you ever feel dizzy though, please listen to your body. Take a break, even if we're not in a break, slow it down, get some water. Okay, 
Good job on those lunges and burpees. That's a tough combination, by the way. So we have the triple squats. And then let me show you. So the triple squat is out, in, out, oh, in, out, in. The in is about hip distance. Out, in, out, in, out, in. All right? If you really want to challenge yourself, you can stay really low. <laughs> That's pretty hard. Uh, I'm kind of standing up out of the squat. Now, this next move for the upper body is triceps. You can have your fingertips pointing at your butt. And we're combining with abs. So as you do your abs, you're bending into your elbows. As you come up, most people don't even straighten their arms. I want you to straighten your arms to really work the triceps. You can do in, knees, legs, sorry. Knees, legs, knees, legs, okay? So don't worry too much about the tricep part um, because it is more ab focused, but you get a little bonus if you're pressing to the hands. You have the option of doing it with your hands in front. Um, I'm just not doing the hand in front option. Here we go. Out in, out, in, out in. Oh, without the jumps? This is the, without the jumps. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. All right, that's without jumps. You want to stay really low, you'll load your muscles even more. Soft landing. Really not trying to straighten the legs at all. You can do high, high, low, high, high, low, or low, 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 low. Lots of load in those muscles. Listen to your knees, please. Toes and knees always stay in a line. They go forward, they go out. Okay, my legs. So this is that option where you can keep your arms forward. Um, don't really feel as much triceps there, though. Ready? Take more abs. Your legs don't have to go all the way straight. You can also do the bent knee version on repeat. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. I definitely feel more triceps when I bend my knees because I'm able to lift my chest higher. But when I lift my legs straight, I can't get my chest up as much due to flexibility. All right, due to flexibility. So again, the emphasis on that one is about abs. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Working on our butt, working on those squats. Ready? Here we go, 40 seconds. The closest your feet get is not together. It's about hip or shoulder distance apart. Very wide, hips. Yeah, it's a triple jump. Oh, heart rate should be getting up there again. We're working a very large muscle group. Five seconds. The question is, would I do this on my own? And the answer truthfully is no. No, I would not do it on my own. I do it with my team, with you guys. You guys, Ready? motivate me. Knees, toes. Knees, toes. I'm sort of emphasizing the straightening of the arms when I bend my knees in and not worrying about it so much when my legs are straight. Ugh. 
Ooh. I think I'm gonna just keep my knees going. <laughs> Hip flexors and quads getting tired. Ooh. All right, that's it. Time for the Tabata run. Oh, jeez. Quick, I'm gonna grab some water here. Oh, ignore that. I gotta, gotta change the clock. It's about it. We have 30 seconds. Same thing. What do you guys think about this workout? Kind of sucks, right? And by suck, I mean it's really good. We gotta, we gotta speak the same language here. Suck means it's really good. Get ready. Okay, let's get ready. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Three seconds. Two. One. It's short. Sorry, not one. Push. Your goal is to get your heart rate up or your muscles really burned out in 20 seconds. It's hard to do sometimes because it's such a short amount of time. Unless you push yourself, you won't feel it. And that defeats the purpose of this workout. Push, Three, push, push. Two. One. Rest. It's not that we all have to be doing the same thing, but our goal is to achieve the same feeling. That feeling of... Three, I'm really tired. Two, I can't continue. One, Just two, sucks. Two. A little out of your comfort zone. It's not a stroll in the park, right? It's not like where you're walking out in the sunshine with no timing or angst to get anywhere. Three, two, one. All right, on your butt. Yes. Oh, geez. Feel free to do all straight legs. Three. We're all fit. One. Top it off. Three. Breathing really helps. I exhale every time I crunch. Can you hear me? It's like grunting, but less obnoxious. Three. <laughs> two. One. Ugh. Rest. My legs. You're always gonna tire out in the one muscle group that. You turn Three, favor. Two, one. Top it off four. We're definitely doing a lot of quad work as usual. Squats, lunges, those kicks, they all involve quads and hip flexors. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Oh, I stopped a little early. Oh, jeez. All right. Three. Back to our triples. Two, one. Out, in, and out. Your heart rate doesn't really have time to go back down all the way. That's what makes Tabata so hard. The rest time is half the time of the work time. Three. Two. It's designed that way. Rest. Stay on your feet. But it's just the, uh, just enough that we can two, basically feel like not giving up. Top it off. Just as we reach our limit where we're like, we gotta stop, we get that 10 second breather, and it gives us just enough energy to do another 20 seconds. But that's the reason behind the eight rounds. By the time you hit your eighth round, oh, you're nearly done. Three, two, one, rest. I also say it's the most effective and efficient way of working out because of how much you Three, work two, during those one, 20 seconds. Top it off seven. If you did eight Tabata rounds, which is eight times four, 32 minutes of work, you'd be way more fatigued than if you walked for 30 minutes or did a consistent Three, steady state. Two, one, rest. If you did a consistent steady state, like jog or something, anything that you kept here. This is Tabata. Three, two, one. Top it off. So we are all short on time. Oops. So the more we can cram into every minute to make it count, right? Isn't that better? We're all about efficiency, effectiveness. How much can we accomplish in a short amount of time? It doesn't mean you don't want to take the time. Two, one. Your timer is complete. It doesn't mean you don't want to take the time. 
and feel guilty if you decide to take a stroll in the park for a leisure 30 minute walk. You shouldn't feel guilty about that because that's also great for your mental state, right? Where you're not like, oh, I must be doing something efficient and effective or it's not worth doing at all. Um, but just so you understand the differences between the kinds of workouts that exist. Every workout exists for a reason. Right? Yoga has its benefits, Pilates, boot camp, dance, walks, uh, ice skating, which I cannot do. I cannot balance on a blade to save my life. Um, what else is there? You know, bike riding, rollerblading. I was always on rollerblades in college. Not anymore. All right, lunge shrugs. Push up to single leg down dog. All right, when you do this uh, down dog, you can obviously keep both legs down. So you can do a push up on your knees like this, come up, down dog, nice calf stretch. Ready to do push ups on your toes, down dog, push up, down dog. That's the second exercise. The first exercise is a lunge chug laterally. So a chug is tiny, tiny little hops. So if I'm facing forward, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, sorry, I actually need to jump. Uh, so you wanna make sure you pick up your feet. Without the jumps, you can sidestep like this. So you're gonna travel both ways, okay? That's all one 40 seconds. And then the second one is with the other leg in front. So if you're mirroring me, if you had your right leg in front with my left leg, then keep mirroring me for the second round. That's our first exercise. You don't really need to do this on mats. Ready? So let's go one direction. Doesn't matter. I'm going to do four of these and four, three. I'm holding the lunge. Let me show you from the side. I haven't changed my lead leg. I'm moving towards you. I'm moving away from you. Really small hops, maintaining the lunge. It almost looks like I don't even come out of the lunge position. And if I walk it, Really small little creeping steps laterally away from you. It always looks like you're pretty much in that lunge position. And that's the challenge. Abs tight, chest up. I use my arms to get a little lift. So I'm moving laterally also on purpose, right? Because we're used to going forward and back. So there's a little more coordination challenge when we're looking laterally. Let's do our push-up, single leg down dog, or two leg down dog. You can do push-ups on your knees. Three seconds. Push-up, kick. Another nice stretch. I'm getting a good hip flexor stretch when I lift the leg up, which is one of the reasons why I picked the single leg down dog instead of having both feet down. It's that lift right here, but Again, it's a great calf stretch as well if you have both feet down because the weight of your body kind of takes you down there. But you also get the single leg calf stretch too. The leg that's on the ground gets the calf stretch. other leg in front for the lunges, please. Feel free to go eight knees direction, it doesn't matter. I mean, you're pretty much in the lunge position. Direction is not too critical. Ready? Again, trying to maintain that lunge position, keeping the knee bent at pretty much the same angle. You're walking it, your feet go a little wider than hip distance and then back to hip distance. It's all within range, it's all good. Just gonna turn a little bit. There you go. Ooh. Hope you're all sweating. Let the legs burn out. This is one of those exercises that whether you're chugging or walking, it burns. There isn't like that much extra benefit to the jump there, really. Um, yeah, you might get your heart rate up a little bit more, but muscularly, it burns. All 
All right. Ready? Do our yoga. Find that nice plank as you do the push-up. Really brace the abs. Even if your knees are down, you're bracing the abs. Ideas on the floor as you do your push-ups. But you can look at your toes as you do the downward dog. The toe that's on the floor, not the toe that's kicking. Ugh. Okay, we're almost done. This is it. Well, actually, this is gonna take us right to 645. Uh, so we'll have to do a really, really quick stretch at the end. This water round takes us to the end. Okay, you ready? Do you love the lunge? <laughs> do you feel it at least? Okay, same side for the first two rounds. You know the drill. You're back to the first leg. 20 Three, seconds. Two, one. Top it up, one. Stay low. Stay low. Low, 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 low. You basically kind of pop yourself off the ground with your arms. A mild, barely there straightening of the legs. Three, two. One. Stop, stand there, straighten up your legs. We're gonna go right back down. Really, don't bother even getting out of position. Three. Keep that lung straight, bend, and two. move. Not two. I know, I know it burns, I know, I can feel it too. You can do this, stay low, stay low. Two. One. Push up. Rest. Single leg down low. When I'm traveling, I'm really traveling by mere inches. You don't need to cover a lot of ground. Three, two, one. Top it off. Three. Woo! This is a nice stretch break in between the push ups. Three, two, one. All right, I'm just gonna, gonna rest here on my hands and knees. Because it's too much to Three, stand up. Two, one. Top it off. Ooh. I guess I could have rested in downward dogs. That would have been a nice stretch huh? for 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, let's get that other leg in front. And then you, we're done after this. We're just stretching after Three, this. two. After the push-ups, I mean. One, top it up, five. Very, very small increments. All right, we're not jumping six inches, 12 inches, inches, like two inches, one inch. Three, two, one, rest. Okay. Oh, I stood out of it. Why? Because <laughs> I forgot we're doing it again. <laughs> Three. All right, here we go. Two, one, top it off six. Last 20 seconds of these terribly, terribly effective lunges. Remember, walking it out totally burns too. I know, I just want to stand up. All I want to do is stand up. Two. And I will wait. Rest. I will wait till she says rest. Okay. This is the last minute of work. Two. One. We have 20 seconds. Seven. Times two. Last minute of boot camp. Three, two, one, rest. Rest. Rest in any position Three, you want. Two, one, top it off. Eight, 
Final round. Stick with it. You can do it. You made it this far. Ooh. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. Ooh. Congratulations. Done. Done, done, done. Oh my gosh. Let's kind of go back to that initial stretch we did where we had the back leg mostly straight. Feel free to put the knee on the ground. You're gonna feel a really nice stretch here. If you end up sort of engaging the leg a little bit more and straining the knee, you might feel a little more in the hip flexor, but you end up uh, contracting your quads. So if it doesn't bother your knee to be on the ground or you can double up the mats, it's a great, great hip flexor stretch. I'm leaning forward because I'm pretty tired, but if you wanted to lift your chest up, you get an even deeper hip flexor stretch. All right, I'm gonna go into inner thighs. So I'm just gonna kind of pivot my body here. This might not feel good for everyone to have their knee bent this much. So you also have the option of coming up like this. Okay, this is a nice inner thigh hamstring stretch. So either option works. It's all about the straight leg. Shift on over to the other side. And again, you can stand up a little bit more if it bothers your knee to have it this bent. Lots of variations and options for stretching. The goal is to lengthen the muscles that are tight. Keep that range of motion. Okay, so we gotta do the hip flexor on the other side. So it moves this way, pivot toward the other wall. And again, you can lean forward, support on your front thigh or lift that chest up and feel an even deeper stretch of that hip flexor. Pay attention to that bottom knee though. Let's tuck that toe under and stand on up. Definitely need to stretch the quads. So many squats and lunges here. You accomplished so much during this 45 minutes. Really, really should be proud of yourself. Uh, notice boot camp is not a huge class. Um, everywhere I've taught is generally not the biggest class. It's because it's a tough class. If it was easy, everyone would do it. All right, so we're stretching the quads. Let's reach up, lean back slightly for our abs. And then bring the arms back, back, back. Open it up into the chest. So my arms are behind me. And then it'll continue down, down, down. Awesome job. Whatever still feels a little tight that you want to loosen up, feel free to do that. A nice lower back release is good too. Let me know if you have any questions, if you want to unmute yourself. And I'll see you all next week. Way to rock it.